Hi there, welcome in. My name is Raquel Annette. If this is your first time ever seeing my face, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to stay around a while, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and place the bell on so you can know every time I'm coming up here to upload for you guys. As you can see by the title of today's video, we're going to be reviewing the brand new Ambient Soft Glow Foundation by Hourglass and this foundation is a pretty penny. She is $58. She's supposed to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with the light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. So when I swatched this in store, you could definitely see the little light reflects in the foundation. So if you're interested to see the specs and how this foundation performs, you're more than welcome to continue on watching. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side Alright guys, so I've already gone ahead and moisturized and primed my face I use the OG Becca Ever Matte Primer I haven't used it in a while But you know, Becca is not a company anymore So I, I have to kind of get through this primer before it expires I bought so I bought so many because I was so sad that the company was going under, so I bought a lot. But anyways, I used that, and I also just did a little bit of translucence powder over that just to create the perfect barrier because it's literally 102 degrees out here, and it's like 9 a.m. already. Like, okay, so not 102, but it might as well be. It's very hot. So I went to Sephora to do my usual foundation pickup so I can review it for you guys, and... I was very torn between the two shades. I swatched 14 and a half and 15. They both dried differently. So I, they both dried down differently. So what I did rather than doing my typical thing of splurging, this foundation is 58, I think $58. So I just wanted to show you guys the various shades. So this is 14 and a half and this is 15. 14 and a half has warm undertones. 15 has cool undertones and then 15 and a half has neutral undertones. 15 and a half was too deep for me. I knew it wouldn't it wasn't going to work. It was just too deep. So I was torn between 14 and a half and 15. Usually not a warm undertone at all. And usually not a red undertone, nothing like that. So I feeling like I may be the 15, but I just wanted to bring both because it was it, it was it, they both could have worked I feel so I want to show you guys both we're gonna go ahead and start out with 14 and a half again has the neutral no not neutral it has the warm undertone I'm going to get ahead I'm just gonna swatch both I got a pretty good amount in here so for both of them so so that is 14 and a half I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off of this pointed foundation brush so we can get a true swatch of 15 this is 15 and this is the one with the cool undertone. You see how they kind of look the same. Do you see these two kind of just look like exactly the same? There's kind of like not a difference at all. Which is why I was torn. I'm like, they kind of both look the same. But then from, I should have gotten a sample of 15 and a half because I, that one could I could have shown you how much deeper it is than these two. So with that being said, let me just try to work them both in and let it dry down a little bit because they're both looking a little too light. The blend is beautiful. I do want to note that this is like, it has reflex in it. This foundation actually has reflex in it. I swatched it on my hand and I looked at it and it was like, and it was like little shimmery reflex in there to actually give you and a little, oh, a little bit goes a long way as you're saying. This is really, really buffing out beautifully. Okay, that buffed out beautifully. And now I'm just gonna go ahead a different brush and just brush this out this way to see which one is actually gonna work. I feel like this foundation brush just picked up a lot of the product, to be honest. Fifteen is going to work for me. The cool undertone that is going to work, and I just have to say, it is—it's like a liquid version of their stick, and this is supposed to have the reflex in it, and a little bit goes such a long way, as you saw. So we'll just put a little bit more. So we'll just put a little bit more 
on and buff that out. So I'm actually gonna switch the brush out to a more dense foundation brush to blend this out. I feel like that will blend out better than the Fenty brush because I was just absorbing a lot of the product. But can we talk about the blend? It is beautiful. It is seamless. It is a buttery blend. I'm so impressed. It's giving, it's just like their stick foundation, but in a liquid form. It's just like, I don't know. There's something about the hourglass foundations that just give you that super matte, that super full coverage with little effort. I'd forgotten about how much I love Hourglass's foundation. I was obsessed with that, with their foundation stick, I would say for like three years. That was literally the only thing that I would use. Blending out like a freaking dream. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so can we see this shade match? It is a perfect shade match. I'm absolutely loving it. I love that I just, you know, brought the sample home to try it out to see what really, what shade really was going to fit me rather than going back and forth. Sometimes I don't even utilize everything that Sephora offers. Like I just like, let me go ahead and buy the whole thing, you know, money and a thing, you know, but like if I really want to keep it, I want to get the right color, want to get it right. So let's go ahead and sample it. And I do think that this was the perfect shade match. This is um, not a demi matte. This is like a smooth matte lumin, but it has reflex. So it's not luminous necessarily. It's just going to reflect off of the sun because it does have those reflex in it, but it's not too like literary or anything. You really can't see it unless you get into the sun and it's really going to reflect and make you look so, so bomb. And I don't think there's any foundations out here like that. That This is very, very unique. You are going to be, you're going to be like Edward from Twilight. So I'm actually going to use the Vanish Hourglass Concealer and this is in the shade Flax. I have used this and this is in the shade Flax. I got this from the Flip app you guys. Hourglass Cosmetics is on the Flip app. Their new foundation isn't. It's just on their website or online or in store for Sephora. But this I actually got um, from reviewing Flip. So if you do sign up for the Flip app I do have a link in the bio. $30 will be added to your cart. You swipe in your review, you earn credits, you earn money towards purchases. I got this for free, 99 from using the Flip app, uploading my reviews and engaging other people's reviews. Name brand makeup, you can't beat with a stick. I have tried this before, I absolutely love this concealer. This is a beautiful finish, a little goes a long way. You only have to dip into this one time to highlight your whole face. Applicator, bomb, everything about Hourglass gives luxury besides the fact that sometimes they don't have enough shade range. Um, I've always been able to find something in my shade range, but you know, a lot of people have said that they don't go deep enough, so Hourglass, you know, we're not gonna beg. At this point, you just need to know that there is a market for deep, deep, deep skin girls who like the luxury makeup, okay? So like, just take that into consideration and we ain't gonna have no problems, okay? I love most of everything that you put besides the bronzing palettes. Like, why don't you guys create darker bronzing palettes? Why? I've always wanted to try one and they just never are deep enough for even me. So if it's not even deep enough for me and I'm just like regular brown skin, like what could it possibly do for someone who's extremely deep? I just don't get the logic. So we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. All right, so we are all blended out with Hourglass products. I don't have any highlighting palettes or anything because they don't make a highlighting palette deep enough for me. Why can't we have the expansion of shades? I don't wanna keep talking about it, but at this point, I, we need a reason or we need action for sure because it's not the fact that we don't have the money to buy it. Like if we like something, we're gonna buy it. So at least provide those options so I can get a full face of hourglass, okay? All right, so yeah, I'm gonna hop off camera, finish the rest of my face, and I'll check back in before we start our work. All right, so here we are all finished. Um, yeah, so this is actually, I would say, a matte foundation. It's for sure matte. I feel like there's like no moisture after I put more powder on it. It's giving very much so matte as you can see, but like when you get into the sun, it does reflect. So we're gonna go ahead and live in the foundation all day to see if it moves around, oxidizes, to see if it gets oily and separates. We just wanna see what happens at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and jump to where we're talking. All right guys, so it is 8.13. As you can see, that is the right time. I've been living in this foundation all day. All day, I have not touched up anything. The only thing I touched up was my lips and that's because I ate this amazing dinner and my lip 
products came up. Can we get into the wear test? This is an extremely mattifying formula. So I did use an extremely mattifying primer as well. Those two paired together literally gave me this mattifying look. I have not oxidized. It was 100. Where did I go? So I, I ran a couple of errands. I was outside. It was over 100 degrees. And I didn't break any kind of perspiration. Like the combo together really locked and gave me this amazing mattifying finish, right? I have not placed powder on my face. I'm really shocked because I thought it was going to be like a soft matte velvet matte something of that sort but it's really just matte but it's not one of those dry down cakey mattes it just looks matte excuse my dryer all in all i would say this is beautiful i lived in this all day and you can't basically see any signs of wear and it's not cakey your skin's not dried out and flaky it just it really did what it was supposed to do i feel like the price point is not outrageous for what the product delivers. It's really good. I've been in this all day. I don't even want to take it off. It, it looks exactly the same way that I applied it hours and hours ago. So mixing the foundation and the concealer together, we have this beautiful face, you guys. I give it five stars, five out of five, 10 out of 10 across the board. And y'all know I love me a good foundation. And this is, this, the proof is in the pudding. Like seriously, let's think about this. Look at this. Seriously, it's it's so bomb. So I'm happy that I got the two shades to pick from so I know which one works. So I'm going to go ahead and get the full size. I would recommend this for anyone who does have larger pores. But honestly, I, if you do have larger pores or acne prone skin and you really want the mattifying finish like this, you're going to have to use either the one size or the Becca Ever Matte or of course place a light layer of translucence powder to get the full mattifying effect. Now if you have oily skin, I think this will be great for you. This is going to keep you matte. It's going to be great if you have larger pores. Even normal skin. This will be perfect for everyone. I promise you. Especially those of us who have large pores or who are oily. That, they're going to be your best friend. Now if you are drier like me, so I, I have dry acne prone sensitive skin. It, the the mattifying effect could possibly be a little bit too much of you know the combination that I put together. I only did that because I live in the desert, so it's extremely hot. So it's extremely hot, and I didn't want it melting in my face. I just wanted to see how it would perform in the weather. But outside of that, you guys, very excited about this. I'm really excited. I was very in love with the Vanish Stick for years and years. This soft ambient glow is a beautiful beautiful foundation that you guys can get online or in store at sephora or on hourglass.com leave me a comment down below let me know what you think about the foundation the application the long staying wear if you have any questions don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up i'll be back very soon with another review for you guys bye